In this morning's Health Watch, jet lag, it can delay and even ruin your vacation. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is back to show us some ways to prevent it. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. How, do, why, how and why does it occur? <laughs> jet lag, if you've experienced it, you know, can be pretty unpleasant. It has to do with our body's circadian rhythms mm -hmm. or your internal body clock that is really programmed to the environment in which you live. And it's affected by things like sunlight. If you take your body out of that environment mm -hmm. by changing the time of day, right. All of your systems can be thrown out of whack. It really makes some people completely nuts. And it also varies sort of direction to direction, does it, it not? Exactly, which is very interesting, actually. It seems to be worse for people traveling in an eastbound direction. So for an example, and this is an extreme example, albeit, and it has to do with the number of time zones you cross. Mm -hmm. If you fly from New York to Dubai, which crosses eight time zones, right. it can take your body five days to adjust to that change in time. <laughs> if you fly westbound right. from Dubai to New York, it's a, it's a little bit less than that. You're crossing eight time zones, only taking about four days to adjust. Right. So what kinds of things can you do, for instance, before your trip to help your body get ready for this could, what could be very disruptive. Massive thing. shock, yeah. right? Well, as we say with everything, Harry, preparation is key. You mm -hmm. want to prevent the jet lag before it occurs. Right. And there are some things you can do. The first thing and the easiest is to set your time a few days before your watch, your clocks at home, to where you will be going. That can help your oh, body get okay. on that schedule sure. even before you actually depart. And then you want to do things like very simple, common sense things. You want to avoid large meals when you're on the plane and mm -hmm. in the first couple of days in the new location. You want to avoid alcoholic beverages and you want to avoid caffeinated beverages just because those things in and of themselves can all interfere with sleep patterns. Right. I always find that when I fly someplace that you try to stay up as much as possible the night that you, the day that you get there. Right. Even though they're Power super exact. So then you can get a good night's sleep that first night. That's sometimes. Right. Sucks. That works for a lot of people. The key thing, Harry, is where, where you're going, you want to expose yourself to as much light, if possible, natural sunlight mm. as you can, mm -hmm. because again, that's the natural way to set your body on your new environment. There you go. <laughs> Dr. Wake Jennifer up. Ashton, thank you so much. You